Hi everyone, Tracy Bryant with First Team Real Estate. Today I wanna to talk to you about the RPA, which is actually the contract you submit when you're purchasing a property. And I'm gonna focus on the section of the contract that talks about condition of property. Let me read part of it to you. Page five, section 11 says, condition of property, unless otherwise agreed in writing, the property is sold as is in its present physical condition as of the date of acceptance. It goes on to say that the seller shall disclose any known material facts or defects. B, the buyer has the right to investigate the property and based upon the discoveries found in those investigations, cancel the agreement, request repairs, or take other action. C, the buyer is strongly advised to conduct investigations of the entire property in order to determine its present condition. So what this really is saying is that you have time as a buyer to investigate a property at your expense to find out if the property is in good condition if you want to move forward. Section 12 says buyer's acceptance of the condition of any matter affecting the property is a contingency of this contract. So if you find that the property has too many issues or the seller's not negotiable on making the repairs, you can actually cancel this agreement and walk away from a purchase if it doesn't seem like it's a good deal for you. So when you have an agent that understands the contract, you can save a lot of money and time and effort. And I really think that someone you work with should know this contract pretty well. And there are 10 pages, so it's not a small contract. Thank you so much for tuning in to Tracy's Real Estate Talk, episode 11. I look forward to talking to you again on the next topic and probably on the RPA. Don't forget to follow me at mrsfoodhillranch.com. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.